Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. I hope you all had a fantastic new year and a great holiday season. We're going to take a look and see what's going on for January 2024. Woohoo! All right, let's take a look at the messages and get a couple of cards here. See what's going on. One more. Okay. So, Virgo, remember, this is a channel for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. There is a link in the description box below if you want to book a personal reading with me or Brandy. All right, so yeah, you, you're starting with karmic relationship, Virgo. Okay, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving yourself. Okay, good start. Let's take a look and see what's happening there, okay? Karmic relationship, all right. So there's definitely an energy of hesitation about getting involved or making a move or going in a particular direction, okay? Uh, the chariot is cancer energy, so there's reflection. Yeah, I feel like you might be in this position starting off this new year of, hmm, is this a karmic relationship? What are the lessons? If it is, how can I move forward? Should I move forward? A little bit of um, taking stock of, of like the past year, what you've been through, who you've connected with, who you've let go of. Um, okay, so you've got the moon, Pisces. So it could be maybe a water sign you have a connection with. Um, but I do feel like there is the beginning of the new year, this more to be revealed is how I feel about a relationship with someone in particular. Okay. Now, um, there may be an offer for travel as well. Maybe connecting with someone. I do get a sense that you, and I know it's not for all of you, but one Virgo or two or five or 10,000 are trying to figure out um, what's hidden behind the veil with someone in particular? Okay. Um, let me take a look. Okay. Yeah. Because there is, it looks like either there is, or there will be somebody who is pushing back on revealing their emotions and their feelings, which I do feel like might be leading you to wonder if this is a karmic. Um, it, it does look like it's causing some turmoil, um, and possibly a relationship that's triggering you. Okay, could be. Could be somebody new. So keep that in mind. But the biggest lesson here, Virgo, for you is letting go and loving yourself first. You know, um, regardless of what is happening or who you're connecting with, I do see a lot of defensive energy. There's this, it kind of like you might be something might be put on the table as far as either travel or moving something forward in January. But because there's a lack of depth of revelation to somebody's feelings or emotions, there may be this thing of pushing back because they might be blocking or pushing back back or be a bit defensive in sharing, I feel like you might be hesitating or will hesitate about taking a step forward in January. Or you just might delay so you can maybe think about it a little longer. I do feel like there is someone here who is aware that they push back on revealing their feelings for you. They are aware of it. And I feel like in January, they're really going to be taking a look as well as far as if they should reveal how they feel. And how they feel is the lovers. This person could be a Gemini. Or like if you're already connecting with this person, then it, I don't need to call the sign out. You know who it is. Um, but it could be somebody new. That might show up where there's a falling in love energy this is that lovers makes me feel like two peas in a pod you and this person it's like a twin i'm not gonna say like you mirror each other um i don't know if you guys watch that twin flame thing on netflix i think it was netflix 
holy smokes you know what listen you guys know like i don't try to get too deep into the twin flame thing i mean because there can be this getting hooked on the idea of your twin that you get to the point where you just know in your heart or you feel something the connection and then if that other person is not good for you you don't give you don't take into account um the danger right so you know what you could be feeling is a karmic connection that that could be a false twin now i feel like maybe you could be trying to figure that out in january too if this person is you know healthy for you if this is a toxic relationship regardless of whether it's like you might feel a really strong connection to this person where everything lines up between you and them however they could have some serious issues it's important not to overlook that even if you have it in your head that this is your twin because at that point you just want to let that person go love yourself maybe you know ship them out to healthy world and let them heal um, or pray for them or whatever you might want to do but i do feel there is a questioning and the lovers is here and i do feel like if if you if there's no major defects of character or a lack of integrity or things like that with this person if that comes to fruition that you come to realize that then for you i do feel like this is I'm going to coin the term match made in heaven, okay, that you guys, but this, this, I do feel like this person also is checking in on how they feel. Um, they're not ready a hundred percent to move forward with you. Um, but they're, you know, standing at the crossroad in my mind's eye, as far as, you know, it's gotta be for love. Like, I feel like this person is not going to come towards you. Um, um, it's got to be for love like no other reason like uh, you know what i mean so i don't know if you're hesitating to express your feelings because you're not sure if this is healthy or not or this is you know you're 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 virgo you're dotting your i's and crossing your t's as you usually do you're check 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 checking right and I, that's what i see you doing in january let me take a look uh, okay yeah look queen of swords so that could be representing your energy it could also be um an air sign masculine or feminine but as far as you i because we were just talking about you virgo i do feel like you're trying to get at the truth of the matter in january you want crystal clear clarity communication information if it's not with someone else then with yourself right so you will get that as far as okay now we have a king of cups so it could be with a cancer scorpio pisces and i did see cancer and pisces and we did see uh gemini so there's some type of communication happening or um just getting clear uh, and being precise because the queen of swords is very precise and queen of swords is usually someone who's either single or divorced um it's just being very upfront queen of swords is very intelligent she has the ability to cut through the bs so i do feel like january wraps up for you with this okay what is the situation going on um you might back out for a little while with the two of swords so that you can try to make um uh, to trust more of your intuition as far as this relationship goes you know i will tell you for some of you you know there's nothing here that's showing me like it's a new love in a sense of like somebody new coming in and for others this may not be a romantic relationship this could have something to do with a friendship you know or somebody close to you that you have a deep connection with that may just simply be platonic right like a sibling or like a family member uh, someone else who's you know uh, for others that's not romantic but i do feel like there's a lack of openness and clarity because of the moon as far as inner feelings secrets um you might be asking yourself if you're disillusioned i feel like you 
there, there's definitely love here and I feel like it's equal. Um, but there's also a decision being made about love and two decision cards. So on both sides, you know, I, it, it is possible that this other person could be questioning what the relationship between you is also because they could have they could be getting triggered by things as well and you know i just I, you know they're just giving me this image of like you and this person standing in a doorway you've got one foot in and one foot out and there's a decision happening here because nobody wants to move forward unless it's for love unless it's for that deep partnership unless it's for something like with the lovers that's the end game there nobody wants to move forward unless that's going to be the end game not necessarily marriage or commitment or anything like that although the lovers is a marriage commitment card and there that is a possibility but it's more so about what do we really have this real connection? Is it really based on love or is it based on fear and insecurity? Which is what that karmic will be. So it's a lot of like doing the work and in January coming to a conclusion and getting crystal clear about your yourself and what you want and what this person wants and them too. So let's see if we can get somewhat of an outcome here. At least, will there be an outcome to this in January is what I want to ask. Okay, King of Wands. Well, someone's definitely going to take the lead. Okay, someone's going to... Uh, someone's going to take the lead. It could be a fire sign. You could be have a connection with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You could be on the cusp of Leo and Virgo. Um, there could be some communication that you're speaking to another person, trying to seek clarity to help you with this situation as well. Um, let me see. What other is there going to be an outcome? Clarify the King of Wands. Uh, some of you might be uh, running a lot of this this uh, you could be checking with someone that you work with or someone that you're connected to through um some type of business that you have a close connection with or talking to someone at work um asking for advice and clarity okay wow knight of cups virgo so that's a good outcome um i do feel like if you're talking to another person and trying to get some clarity i feel like this person's going to tell you um make that offer um go from your heart go with love um they're also going to tell you uh, i feel like you might be asking somebody else in january based on everything that this person does if if they're playing you or if it's if they're really like if romance trying to romance romance you or if they um really are offering true love you know and i feel like this person is going to tell you that it, it's true love they'll say like uh, they're just saying like um they're giving you advice about the the sex and saying um this person anybody who was just playing with you wouldn't wouldn't do these things this is what i'm hearing okay anybody who's playing games wouldn't do the things that you're describing that's what i feel like you're gonna hear okay uh one more card one more card for virgo and then we'll wrap that section up oh uh oh oh Okay, got the Page of Pentacles. So there is going to be some communication happening. Um, I feel like there's going to be some ideas and plans put out between you and this person. A lot of communication going forward with that. Future plans. That's what I'm hearing. Future plans. So Virgo, I feel like your advice really at this time is to just kind of sit back and just let things be revealed to you and trust the process as far as this stuff goes okay good luck virgo you've got the dragonfly here okay so you have be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light adapt change and heal all right virgo 
what's happening here? What else is happening for Virgo in January? What is Virgo finding out? What is coming to light? Virgo, I feel like uh, there's a message here of just, you know, float on your tippy toes through January. Don't be too serious. Just, just kind of like take things with a grain of salt. Don't, <laughs> don't, um, as my friend says, don't make mountains out of molehills. All right, let's see. All right, so you've got the Page of Cups. So there is going to be some sweet, loving communication coming in. <laughs> Somebody, um... <laughs> okay, there's a little stress happening here. Nine of Swords, some anxiety. Um, tell me more. Okay. Oh, okay. So it looks like there's somebody showing up here that might feel like you're not interested in, in um, committed relationship for some of you. And there's also this energy of someone um, I feel like um, has to keep in touch with you because like they have this person. Okay. And we're going to find out who it is. This person has what I like to call fantasies uh, um, about you, Virgo. Like little, um, well, let, let me not get into too much detail about that. But this person has like fantasies about you, okay? And it stresses them to the point where they have to, they have to talk to you, right? Like... They're, the dreams or the fantasies or the visions that they have about you are so real. You know when you have like a dream and then you, you wake up from that dream and it was just, it felt so real, okay? <laughs> um, but the thing is like, these are like good dreams and then these are nightmares at the same time. <laughs> so uh, Virgo, you might be having some like very realistic dreams in January or you might have already started and you might be having some nightmares or just bad dreams and I feel like your emotions are coming up like there's a release happening in January um there's no there's no more suppression of your feelings this this is what they're saying and then start coming out in your dreams and that you know might have a lot to do with um, you needing to be very lighthearted and even the finding out, things coming to light. Um, this is a healing that's happening, right? I often feel like when your dreams become very realistic, surreal and very realistic, um, that's kind of like everything that was suppressed in the the deep, darkest parts of, of your soul are coming up to the shallow now for you to deal with these things, for you to release and let go. Like if you don't keep a dream journal, um, keep one it, when you're when you're remembering your dreams, anything that you remember or anything that is very significant that feels extremely real, write it down in the month of January because that's that's kind of like your subconscious is trying to say, hey, this here has been buried and I'm showing you a movie of this and it may not be exactly as you remember or it could be a memory that's coming up and I want you to like pay attention to this and I want you to be sweet to yourself and good to yourself as you're as you're having these these dreams and, and these whether they're nightmares or, or good dreams. But but Virgo, the dragonfly is all about ascension, right? So this, it, this is part of your healing, okay? Um, now, there may be some communication from someone that triggers. Uh, there may be some flirting or some loving, lovey-dovey communication in January that triggers these dreams to start coming up, okay? Let's see what else is going on. All right. So you've got the five of wands. So here's the queen of swords again. Um, okay, injustice. Wow. Seeking truth. Like, so there's some conflict. Okay. 
uh, maybe with a Libra, past, present, or future. Could also be a Gemini or an Aquarius. Um, naughty and nice energy. Virgo, you're also conflicted with yourself in January. Okay. <laughs> Virgo's like, I, I can't with this. This is too funny. Virgos are like the type, on a general um, basis, um, can be very conservative. Conservative in their dress, conservative in their speech, conservative in their routines, and the things that they do, right? Almost you would think that they were like a bookmarm, you know? Very smart, very intelligent, very acute and aware. But behind closed doors, Virgo is a naughty, naughty one. Okay, Virgo, <laughs> uh, you definitely, you've got a little dissonance happening here. They're just telling me and you need to look at that. Virgo, you might have guilt, maybe for some of you, for the naughty things that you've done in your life. And then you might have guilt for being too nice and too accommodating. Okay, so I feel like there's this getting, you have conflict about, you know, because it sits here perfectly. Um, you might have some guilt about initiating messages with someone that wasn't healthy for you. Um, or you might, it might not even be guilt. It just might be an awareness or kicking yourself like, you know, I shouldn't have sent those naughty pictures. Um, or I shouldn't have um, asked for them. Or um, I shouldn't have been so nice. I should have just been a little, you know, not such a doormat. So you have some conflict definitely in January. And the reason I'm laughing, I'm not laughing because I'm happy you're having conflict. Definitely not. But I'm laughing because this is so in alignment. It's coming together this way. And I, I feel like this message is like for real. You know, I, I do see you like kind of sorting out the difference. Like you might be like, oh, I want to be really naughty. You know, um, I don't or I don't want to lose that. You might be feeling like you're losing that. Why am I saying naughty and nice? Because it's right here. Okay. Um, you're definitely making a list. <laughs> of um checking yourself doing some inventory you know you're going through some i feel like you're going through some letting go energy i do um and also coming to this place of just acceptance of who you are now you can define naughty or nice however you like you know i can't define that for you i was trying to give you some ideas there but you're, you're definitely starting off the new year um, where you're seeking clarity and truth, okay? Um, there might be this something, you might have a competition or you might be competing with an air sign as well and um, you might be trying to figure out which um, attack weapon you're going to use on this person. Should you just kill him with kindness or should you do something that's not so nice in some kind of conflict it might come up and you might be trying to like you know, virgos are very strategic for the most part and um virgos don't just fly off the handle generally not all virgos but virgos don't generally fly off the handle they kind of think it through and kind of plan how they're going to deal with something if you're not that person that might be something for you to work on um, not, not that spontaneity is a bad thing. It's just that spontaneity is better if it's fun, uh, for fun, not for, um, becoming unhinged. So yeah, there is, there might be some competition showing up here and you might be kind of feeling like, okay, how am I going to deal with this? You know, um, having a little bit of stress in regards to that situation. All right, let's see. What's your advice, Virgo? Ooh, you got the devil. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, the, the, your advice is to kill kill everybody with kindness, Virgo. That's that's revenge is a dish best served cold. All right. If you ha if you are feeling that, that basically means don't act on your 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 vengeance don't act out vengeance okay the best thing to do i feel like your advice here is 
um, just to, to be hospitable. I, I have an old saying that I love that I always stick with. It's like, if that's what you want to do, have at it. Do your thing. I'm good. So if you're able to get yourself in that position, um, they just keep giving me like this power up with the devil, you know, um, because the devil wants to be nasty, but, um, but the devil is very cunning and sly and killing people with kindness is a very effective weapon. It's very cunning and sly. Nobody says you have to mean it <laughs> if you're trying to get back at someone. But if there's a situation that arises for you in January, I feel like your advice there is, yeah, if somebody's giving you a hard time, buy them lunch. If someone's like trying to move in on your person, um, I want to say um, praise them, not your person, but the person who's trying to do that. Because they're going to look at you like, what the hell is Virgo up to? What are they doing? Look at that. You see that lantern? That's That right there is Virgo's lantern. And you got their number, Virgo, the hermit lantern and you've got their number by killing them with kindness right because i feel like this person is going to be defenseless and they will put up some like strong boundaries um, and be very persistent with that and stop what they're doing so i don't know you know there could be like um some words being said that turns into some kind of competition or argument i you know whether it's with a lover or whether it's with um a friend family member, co-worker, colleague, whomever, your advice all across the board is be kind. Just be kind. Um, don't get in ensnared in any kind of tit for tat or back and forth. Just keep your distance and, and just, you know, uh, I don't know. I just feel like kindness is the most effective weapon to use on anybody um, because it makes the opponent... Um, useless they, they like you know like the puppy scenario i mean <laughs> somebody gives you a puppy your enemy gives you a puppy it's like that's the kindest thing i could never hurt them <laughs> it actually promotes peace so i mean obviously that's your vice you do what you want you take it if you want to if you want to do that if you don't want to do that perfectly fine message here you've got abundance virgo keep a positive mindset virgo Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss is going to get you through. Okay. How do you make a positive mindset? How do you keep a positive mindset? Is every day you make a gratitude list or you make one at the beginning of the week and you read it on the daily to remind yourself of your abundance. Write down the things in your life that are abundant. Okay. That you have that. It doesn't have to be what anybody else has. It's about what makes you completely happy, where your abundance lies, you know. Um, and man, and when we have the gratitude for the things we already have, we wind up actually achieving more. Because when we feel a sense of lack, then we're always in a position of wanting more, and then it's never attainable. It's only when we already accept the 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 and have the gratitude for what we do have because we are content and these are our riches and we're just very happy about that we actually accumulate more riches okay so i feel like that's a strong message for you again in january and so starting off the 2024 year with a gratitude list is a wonderful healing therapy and um really get you in a good mindset now let's take a look what else is going on here? Okay, clarity, definitely. Strength, definitely. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow, Virgo. So, some of you um, in January are either going to get news or good news or overcome an obstacle about um, an inheritance, um, a business, um, real estate there's going to be security okay so there may be communication or just some clarity um about these things now you've also got strength here there's leo energy there so this to me feels like power this leo energy this to me feels like 
security, um, being bold, courageous. There's something coming up, possibly a new beginning happening here, um, a new thought, new idea. Um, the ice melting, I'm hearing. You're going to have the boldness and the courage to accept some type of gratuitous, tangible thing coming to you in January. Okay, um, like I said, those things that I just mentioned. Now, with that being said, Virgo, this also comes after you getting clear about the abundance you already have. You know, some people can live in a tent and make a home out of that, and they're gr and they're grateful for that, right? That if they have like basic necessities, you know, they have shelter, there's heat. <laughs> you know, the access to water, access to food. There are some people in this world where that's abundance for them. The basic necessities. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, it's all in perspective um, and where you are in your life. You know, there's some people out there that live in $5 million homes and they're so very unhappy, you know, um, either because they're competing or they're keeping up with, you know, the, the Joneses or... You know, they, they they just, they, they are never settled and they always want more and more and more, you know, and, and I mean, these people could like rule the world and still not be happy. So I feel like your strongest message here after getting this abundance and clarity and the, the gratitude for what you do have some new, some new stuff starts coming in, like I was saying, and you get word or news or a message or communication or new thoughts and ideas. You, you become more courageous to accept, not to go after, because I don't see you chasing, but more courageous to accept. Like even this lifelong secure, I mean, like there's money. <laughs> For some of you, there's a big, big um, money, like an inheritance or just uh, something like there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, Virgo, you know, and some of you are already living in that pot of gold. You're already in it. And then some more comes you know i just so it's not necessarily about money but it is about things that you know people say well money can't make you happy well you know in some ways it's true but um having money to be able to live in a safe secure place can bring happiness you know so money is just access to things really you know but like i said i don't keep repeating myself there are some people that are just um completely happy with where they are and those people are, i think are like the richest people of all right so let me see what else is going on here for you okay all right there might be a, a new baby coming into the family some of you might be really changing your mind about your spiritual beliefs as well but you've got the wheel of fortune yeah and the empress is all about the new beginnings and abundance and happiness i'm telling you virgo i feel like the and so that's pisces and we have taurus libra energy i feel like your message here is once you get into that place of gratitude and abundance i mean you could have two pennies to your name and that's more than somebody else right that's looking at like okay well i'm all right though i'm not great but I'm all right. I'm good. Once you get into that, Virgo, and changing your mindset, things begin to shift and all the good luck and good fortune comes to you. Okay. Once you're just completely, I feel like, you know, it's kind of like whenever you're seeking, whatever you're seeking, you, you'll never be able to catch up to. It's like chasing a dog with a ball. As long as you're chasing that dog who has a ball in their mouth, they're going to run from you. But when you stop chasing that dog, that dog comes right back and drops the ball right in your feet, right at your feet. So that's when, you know, here's the ball. It comes to you. Things will come to you when you just stop for a minute and just kind of get a new perspective, right? And, and whatever those things are, for some of you, it's a new job. For some of you, it's like money. For some of you, it's marriage. For some of you, it's long-term commitment. Like I said, inheritance, real estate, you could be buying a home. You might like the perfect home might just fall in your lap. 
once you're great once you're in gratitude of where you live at currently you know um i love it <laughs> even if it's just stability for some of you okay let me let's get a another message another message for virgo what else does virgo need to know all right so yeah look at that virgo that's exactly what i'm i was saying i feel like i should almost cut this short because it keeps saying the same thing the seven of pentacles is taking stock and taking inventory of your life what it is that you deserve will come to you once you accept that what you have is what you deserve and i feel like you're really going to be looking at all of that look at that the world Looking at the past chapter of your life, taking a look at everything that you've, how far you've come and what lessons you've learned and what you've gained in knowledge and wisdom and how your heart has healed for some of you. There is healing. I feel like you're, whole, you're taking a different outlook um, on the world and your surroundings and the people in your life and the people who have left your life. And even people new coming into your life. So there's like this whole, uh, yep, taking that taking that moment to just be like, wow, you know, look at this. Looking back on the past and thinking about the future. And there's, there's a shift. There's change. There's like a whole new chapter for you to start writing in January. And especially when it comes to love, you know, um, there is, again, and I feel like this ties into the other reading, um, about really looking at your love language or looking at your heart or looking at your partner and finding the commonalities between you instead of the differences if you currently have a partner and if you don't um setting yourself up to be in a position to receive love um from someone who is in alignment with you and the the opportunity i do feel like it comes to you right and so there's a whole lot of like i just feel like once your mindset changes virgo once you shift your perspective that's when things start coming to you that's when all the things that your heart has ever desired um you start finding it where you are and then more of that comes look at that nine of cups so there's your wishes being granted for you this is absolute contentment and joy and happiness. A little bit of indulgence. He's got like a cup here and then he's kind of holding. He's got like some little pies. And some of you are going to get a piece of the pie or a couple pieces of the pie, Virgo. I love this. Oh, and then we just saw the ten of cups there. Nine, The nine to the ten, Virgo. And the key is, how do you get to this point? Is when you get into a place of gratitude absolutely uh, finding the silver lining i see you doing that i do and i just feel like the floodgates begin opening you know the more we complain to the universe the more they mirror that give us our complaints right back to us and they bring us more problems but the more we sit in gratitude and thank the universe or for some thanking god um the more of those good things we're thankful for um begin coming back to us right so your perspective and your mind shift is everything and wow you've got the high priestess and the star total intuition cards here total renewal of your soul your everything like the soul is really all that matters in this reading right now um there's renewal there's hope again there's this like this bright star following you and it's lit up within you okay um this is really coming into contact with the deepest deeper mysteries of your life you have like a very cosmic thing happening for you virgo here in january in this particular reading and um i just feel like that those inner things that you have been keeping within that you just haven't really shared with anyone for whatever reason or your all-knowing intuition um, you've been receiving messages and, and you've, you're being called and you might have been blocking it or ignoring it. And I feel like as you, if you've been doing that, there's like this star, the North Star. There's a star that is just so bright in the sky you catch a glimpse of at night. 
And it's that's like you have to you have to pay attention to that because that's lighting your path, okay? And it's but it's within you. Uh, Virgo, this reading was so spiritual. I mean, it's just beautiful. You've got love. You've got mail. You've got love. Unconditional love. Self love. Oneness. Passion. Affection. Attraction. Okay, Virgo. Beautiful. This is what this is what Virgo needs to see and hear for this new year. Virgo 2024. Um, we're going into the year of the dragon. Um, those who are in the year of the dragon, this is this obviously will be a year that's favorable to you who are born in the year of the dragon. Also, monkeys, pigs, and roosters um, will have the luckiest year ahead. Everybody else will have secondary luck. Um, dragons will be like run, uh, first place monkeys, pigs, and roosters will, um, pretty much be like right behind and then, um, uh, but not second place. Like they're, they're up there with the dragons and then everybody else is going to have secondary luck. Okay. There's no third runner up here. So there's love. I love love. Who loves love? <laughs> Give me a thumbs up or like the video if you love love. Okay, and, and that unconditional love for yourself. Gosh, Virgo, that right there, I feel like the message is, that's, the, the if you have children, okay, unconditional love, children, grandchildren, yes. Um, pets, yes. Um, and yourself, yes. I'm not so keen on the unconditional love for everybody else. I think everybody else can get supportive love, you know, um, but unconditional love for yourself is the number one thing that you have to, that means that you accept yourself for who you are in your entirety, despite any flaws or mistakes that you made in your life. That means that you love yourself, not in an egotistical way, but in an accepting way. That means that, you know, you say to yourself, I unconditionally love myself, meaning I'm good enough. I'm worthy. I'm, I'm valuable enough. Um, and being affectionate with yourself, being even attracted to yourself, which does sound kind of weird to say, but um, in a way where it's like, you can sit in a room by yourself and enjoy your company totally. You know what I mean? That's a good thing. But you also have a beautiful love connection happening for some of you. This, here we go, new love that's brewing or that's beginning. It could be with um, somebody that you meet in January. Maybe you go on like a coffee date or a dinner date or you um, connect with a friend and there's a new love start happening with this person. Um, or it could be somebody that you already have a connection with for some of you. And, um, oh, I just see, did, did you kiss someone under the mistletoe, Virgo, this year or last year, possibly, or at some point, okay, it could be that person. And maybe it was just a fun flirty kiss and nothing serious, but it looks like something will be brewing here with that person. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So you've got, here we go. The Ten of Cups yet again. Okay. And you have, wow, the Four of Cups. Listen, Virgo, between you and another person here, okay, and it's all cup energy, so I have to tell you, for some of you, it's going to be a water sign. Not all, but there is water element here for sure. Um, okay, they just told me to say, some of you are giving up drinking. You, you had your New Year's Eve um, toast with a drink, perhaps, and you, you made a resolution that you're, no, you're not doing that. I, I do feel like for some of you, um, and, and this is just a side message that's coming in, for some of you, you're starting off something new this year. You're, you have a resolution, whatever it might be, um, and you're avoiding things that, that um, are, are too sweet, okay? So it could be sweet foods, right, for some of you. It just could be something that is indulging, um, whatever that might be for you. It doesn't have to be food, but you're, you're showing some resistance 
to indulging too much in either a particular activity um, or something that just wouldn't have long-term benefits for you. Do you know what I mean? Right? Um, so whether that's like excessive drinking or if you're a smoker, um, you could be quitting these things or coming off the sweets this year, part of your resolution. Um are you know uh, switching things up maybe you're gonna not do sugar and you're gonna do I don't know Splenda or uh, any kind of other type of sugar um, yeah becoming a bit more apathetic blocking saying no some of you might even be deciding that you're just gonna make that connection with this particular person and not accept any other offers from anybody else um, because you want to go from the two to the ten okay um, and I do feel like whoever the other person is, is also having a similar energy as well. Okay. Um, not accepting or just really indifferent to love offers by others, uh, you and this person, because there's a beautiful connection being made here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Oh, here's the chariot. So we do have cancer there. Um, some, there's progress. There's going to be progress made in a love relationship Virgo okay um, let me see here oh yeah there's the higher font I mean come on spirits like let's talk let's have a chat um, committed relationship or something formal occurs as well okay this is beautiful so we do have Taurus here um, you know the higher font is really like very structured energy I feel it's not it's not a rebellious energy. There's progress into something very structured with um, a particular person happening. Um, so like I said, if you're meeting somebody new in January, expect that to actually progress into something long term or something more, um, you know, within the bounds of your beliefs and your desires as far as relationship goes. Um, you and this person, you could be... Um, some of you might be going on like a spiritual retreat as well in January, traveling or going to some kind of spiritual retreat as well. Let me see what else is going on. Oh, there's my doggy barking. Okay. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Just what I was saying. You could be going on a retreat with someone as well or connecting with someone and it turns into a very um, beautiful spiritual kind of connection with someone as well. Um, yeah, there's, I, I definitely feel like there is some kind of journey, um, a love journey happening here with someone. And it, it goes, like you guys get to your destination, whatever the destination is that you both figure out together. You guys, um, it progresses. So there's, you know, and, and don't be fearful with this progression. It will not be one linear straight line. There's going to be stops and starts, three steps back, two steps forward, two steps back, three steps forward. That's all the natural progression of anything. Um, so if you feel like you're connecting with someone and then you guys have some stops and starts, that's not an indication that the relationship is not going to work. That's an indication of, okay, we reassess, we regroup, and then we go. It's like when you're traveling um, in, a, in a vehicle, if you're going cross country, um, just because you stop for the night to sleep and eat does not mean the destination is abandoned. It just means we're going to take a little break and regroup and recharge and re we're going to retreat and rest and then get back in the car again however long the next day or two days and then we're going to continue on the journey okay so you might feel like oh okay well this is great and we're having this thing here but now we haven't spoken in three days well that doesn't necessarily mean now everybody's situation is different but i don't see that that necessarily means that this thing is done it just because i don't see that i see the journey and I see the progression of, of a beautiful love relationship happening here. So um, I don't know if I, I felt like I just needed to tell you that. <laughs> yeah, see, there's the five of pentacles. So there may be a sense or a feeling, a little bit of like, oh, we're having a struggle. Or somebody um, who you connect with or you're connecting with might be temporarily unavailable. And so there's this feeling of left out in the cold or um, somebody could be um, 
very busy with work. You could be you, could be the other person, um, or there could be some financial struggles. It doesn't mean it's, you know, done. I just see here that there's this progression, and this is the this the stop before the next start okay with the five of the five of pentacles okay um where it's that feeling left out in the cold um feeling ill or feeling sick because somebody's away or somebody feeling that way you know when i say somebody i'm talking either you or another person and two people feeling like okay but regardless even in the even in the stop part of the stops and starts they're still together they're still together here you see so it's not it's not a card of just you know tiny tim here with his little crutch all by himself walking in the snow um there's hope they're walking outside of this church which represents faith it's keeping the faith virgo even in the the dark moments and not giving up okay and that's having that positive mindset and and also with this love relationship reminding yourself that um you know, you are still worthy of love, even if you feel like there's a difficult uh, struggle that might be happening, because that's relationships. Relationships are complex. People are complex. People like to do different things. Um, people are not always on the same page. It doesn't mean, you know, like I used to tell my children all the time when they were little, like I would always say to them, I may not like what you did, but I never stopped loving you right and that is I oh like i always love you you're not none of us are i mean yeah you're perfect to me my children but everybody makes mistakes right and it doesn't mean that the love is gone it just means that this is a struggle period right now i do feel like whoever your person is if you meet somebody new and there's like okay we started talking and things were going great and now this person i haven't heard from them in like a week um and we had all these plans Stay in faith, stay in that place of abundance, stay in that place of um, self-love and keep the faith and stay hopeful because I do feel like things are going to just go forward here. What else does Virgo need to know? And then I'm going to end your reading. Okay, you've got death. Okay, <laughs> that's so perfect. Virgo, you're definitely going to be presented with this you've got this new new beginning here the death card doesn't the death card is not singular it doesn't represent an end okay and that's scorpio energy it doesn't represent an ending without a new beginning nothing just ends there's always something that takes its place there's always a void that has to be filled so so when you feel like something is over because you, you might feel that way um maybe it triggers insecurities or um abandonment issues that might happen in january but you got to remember something like virgo and i'm just going to keep it straight og 80 style you're not a grody person virgo you are the ish don't forget who the hell you are Okay, if you're feeling in, uh, and I don't mean that in an egotistical way, like love yourself, value yourself. Remember, don't forget who you are. This is the Virgo card. This is Virgo in abundance. This is Virgo being, uh, Virgo, you might have things really twisted. You might have some insecurities or feelings like, well, somebody doesn't like you or someone's you're not good enough for someone no virgo they might just be very intimidated by you or they might just feel awkward around you maybe they want to take a break you know or if they've got some deceitful things going on virgo that's them that's on them that doesn't that doesn't represent who you are people are going to make the choices they're going to make in their life but you got to stand strong within yourself within your core within your power and live your life the way you want to live your life and how you know because even if you even if you end up single which i don't really feel like you will um but even if it comes to that or you just kind of just say okay it's done it's over then power back up and return that love back to yourself. That's what that self-love is about, okay? And I don't mean like, you know, go go to work and ignore everything, right? No, uh, uh, just 
the love that you give, if it's not accepted, it's always returned back to you. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I feel like you need to know that. And, and like I always say, I always say like about money, <laughs> I never feel like I run out of money because at, even at times when my bank accounts, I'm just always like the ebb and flow, you know, money always comes and money, go, money goes and then it comes back again and then it goes and it comes back again. It's just the way, it's just life. And it's the same thing with love. It's the same thing with relationships. It's the same thing with the seasons. It's the same thing like we go through these cycles, right? Accept the cycles and don't let the dark cycle um, keep you in fear and make you lose your hope. It's in, it's in the dark. Um, you know, even the smallest spark can light up the dark, you know? So keep that spark about you, Virgo. Don't lose your spark, no matter what you're going through. Um, if you have an, a connection with a Virgo Taurus or Capricorn, um, and if, if you feel like you're it, like, cause you have free will. So if there's a struggle that happens for you, like I showed you there with the five of pentacles and you feel like, no, you're just going to end this. Don't get distraught, get back on the horse. Cause there is an opportunity for new love from another, like I said, it's the ebb and flow. Somebody else is going to come in, but you have to decide at the end of the day. I don't really feel like that's going to happen. Um, and I feel like if you really are like loving yourself and you, you meet someone and you love this person, whether you meet them or you just whatever the situation is, I do feel like um, even if it doesn't work out, which I don't feel like it won't, but you have to be the one to make that decision. Um, you still have a love for, you still have like the Ace of Cups with the King of Pentacles, masculine or feminine. That is still like new, even new love for yourself is a beautiful thing right we love yourself again whatever it takes but but and i don't want to blow smoke but i do feel like if you feel like something's come to a start just repower up and start loving yourself again right don't stop that that's the message for january all right you guys i hope you enjoy that please do smash that like button if you enjoy my readings when you um back out of the reading and i know listen you guys hitting that like button is like the most minimal task that you can do for the day but every, when you hit that like button that just jumps my readings like through the algorithm up to the top and that if you want to give anything back to me for my channel just hitting that like button is just enough for me that that does more than anything and if you just keep hitting that like button I will just love you forever and ever and ever. <laughs> All right, you guys. Again, personal reading link is in the description box below. And I will be back here tomorrow for your weekend reading. Um, we are getting a snowstorm here up on the East Coast. Now, um, I have no idea how much snow I'm going to get. It might turn to rain because you never know. The weather's so unpredictable, right? Um, but if we get snow... And we are knocked out of power, which is very unlikely to happen because I, I think all of the power lines are like under the ground here. But, you know, who knows? Um, I just want you to know that I will be accepting coffee <laughs> through, um, you can buy me a coffee. The link is in the description box. Just go to my link tree. I will be more than happy if you buy me some coffee um, or just donate to the coffee fund and I can go and get some hot chocolate if I can dig myself out, right? If not... I will see you guys <laughs> over the weekend. I'm going to try to upload more videos. So yeah, have a great night. Thank you to the moderators. You guys are awesome. Thank you for being here and all the work that you guys have done for me this year. I am so grateful to everything that you have done. Thank you to all the subscribers. You guys have really, we've increased this channel so much and, you know, hopefully next year we will maybe surpass the doubling up and hit that 100k wouldn't that be awesome that would be so great but you know what i'll take whatever we get that's i'm happy with that all right you guys i will see you all back here tomorrow take care bye hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading please remember to book subscribe like do all the great things um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.